guys, it's August here, welcome back to Let's Play VVV VVV! In the last episode, we went through the red and the green dungeon, and today we shall be taking on the blue dungeon, which can be found at the bottom left of the map. But first of all, I'm gonna go explore a little bit more, see what I can find, and after that we shall take on the blue dungeon, so let's get to it. So no doubt you guys have heard about the whole thing that Nintendo and LP is, which is pretty stupid, to be honest. I mean... You know, if you don't know, they're taking ad revenue from Nintendo LPs like Mario and Zelda. And, you know, not giving any to the LP themselves, so... I'm not going to talk about it because it's been talked about to death, but if you want to see a video, I'll post a link on the screen to one that Darren the Ultimate made, the founder of EGF, and he pretty much covered it. I'll leave it to him. But I do want to say that none of us in EGF will be stopping our LPs. Some people might because they're no longer getting paid for it, but none of us are. We love making videos, we love getting your feedback. And we love talking to each other because we're all really great friends, so don't worry about that. And if you are thinking of stopping, I would say, you know, don't stop, just keep making your RPs. If you enjoy it, then, you know, just keep at it. Although all of us are hoping that Nintendo will change their mind about it. And speaking of video game companies, did you guys hear about the new Xbox One, the new console they announced? Which, if I heard correctly, was an absolute disaster of a conference. Like, I heard that everything about this went so wrong. Like, there was so much negative feedback about the console, everyone was like hating on it. And it sounds like they put some stuff in which a lot of people disagree with. Like, they are not blocking used games, but you do have to pay a fee for used games. Also, there's no backwards compatibility. It has to be connected to the internet. Like, I think it updates once every 24 hours. And, yeah, it kind of sucks. I will go back to that, but now we're here at the blue dungeon, which is green. Um, there you go, now it's blue. <laughs> so yes, I'll keep quiet for a little bit, go through the dungeon, and I'll talk about this when we get to the other side. See you then. Yep, it's time for bouncing. It turns out the key to stabilizing this dimension was to create a balancing force outside of it. Though it looks like it's just a temporary solution at best. I've been working on something more permanent, but it seems it's going to be too late. Syntax error. Okay then. So yeah, this is what this dungeon is all about. Bouncing off ropes. And this dungeon is very unique, because the music itself is also really, like, different from the rest of it. Like, the rest of the music's really happy, while this is more, like, mellow, I guess. But I still like the music, it's awesome. Access to Control Center is still possible through the main atmospheric filters. Oh, I've already found this. I think that's the yellow dungeon. Which we'll get to next episode. Hmm? 
So yeah, about the new Xbox. Now, I'm not an Xbox person myself, so it doesn't really affect me. But I do feel pretty bad for the Xbox fans out there. Vermillion, what are you doing here? I'm helping! You sure are. Oh my god, you're also Vermillion. <laughs> I love that guy. But yeah, I really hope the Xbox kind of changed their mind about a few of these things. And like, I read that the um, press conference itself is more of like showing the Xbox as like a TV thing, not really a gaming thing. Like, random player from my group actually said that they had no gameplay footage there at all, which is pretty astonishing if you think about it for a game console. I don't know. Sounds like it was a bit of a mess. Uh, vibrating string problem. I've got a lot of the background here. Let's get that. This part can be kind of difficult too. Pass these things. Awesome. I'm sorry about what? Please forgive me. Oh, I died. Oops, I died again. <laughs> now this one is a bit of a pain. What one, you ask? This one. Got it, cool. There is a hidden trinket over here, so make sure to go grab it. Man, look at this place, it's an anomaly. And 13 out of 20, cool. So, something else I wanted to talk about, which is actually pretty funny, I like this. Um, I was recently playing the Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity Demo, because it's coming out tomorrow, the 24th. It's the um, 23rd right now. And, um, I named my main guy August, of course, and I made him a Snivy. And when it came to naming my partner, I was gonna call him Spiky, because it's like an Osher one, you know, Samurai kind of Spiky. But the game was like, no, this name is not allowed, you must name it something else. What? <laughs> why can't I name it Spiky? What did Spiky do to you, Nintendo? So yeah, I don't know why they like banned Spiky of all things. Like, I could understand for some rude names, but Spiky? I don't know, it's weird. Ah. Oh no, Captain! Are you stuck here too? It's okay, I'm here to rescue you. Let me explain everything. What? I didn't understand any of that! Oh well, don't worry. Follow me, everything will be alright. Really? Okay then. Why so blue? Let's go home. Level complete! You have rescued a new crew member. One remains. And this crew member is called Victoria. Uh oh. Not again. Victoria, where are you? Help! Hang on, I'll save you. Wait, 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 what? This is like the Green Dungeon. Um, okay then. Let's get after her. The Gravitron. Let's do this. Survive for 60 seconds. This, as you can probably guess, is like a little challenge area. And every five seconds we get a checkpoint, so don't worry about that. We have to survive this for 60 seconds. The music, guys. The music! I'll stop. <laughs> Alright. At least if I can do this without dying, it'll be amazing if I... Checkpoint. Okay, cool. Ah! Uh. Oh, I got a checkpoint there, don't lie to me, game. I know I did. Oops. <laughs> this might take me a while, actually. After you beat the game, you can actually do the Gravitron and try and, and try and get through it as much as you can. Which I probably will cover for a little bit, it's kind of like a bonus challenge you can do. I think the most I can get through is about, like, 50 seconds or something. Ah! Okay, 28, now both sides. Come on, checkpoint, checkpoint! Oh yeah, <laughs> just got it cool. Now, this is tough. We are over half done though. Oops. Come on! I'm like trying to get as many checkpoints as I can. If I can get the next one, I'll be happy. What? Oh, got it cool. I'm like getting this so close. Now two at a time. This is actually easier than both sides, I reckon. Okay, 15. We can do this. We can do this. Uh, come on. 
Ten? Yes, got it. Uh, five? Oh yeah, I, I don't care, I don't care. Five seconds left. <laughs> this is easy stuff. And there we go, cool. Are you okay, Victoria? I think I'm going to be sick. I feel dizzy. <sighs> Let's get out of here. Oh. Um, um, yes. There we go. And here we are, back at base. Now, Victoria is over here. Let's go talk to her. Why did that teleporter send us to that scary dimension? What happened? I don't know, Doctor. Why? Ah. Oh. Um, Chef? What do you have to say? Victoria mentioned something about a lab. I wonder if she found anything down there. Uh, Violet? Welcome back, Captain. I think Victoria is quite happy to be back on the ship. She really doesn't like adventuring. She gets very homesick. And is our awesome pal of a million here. Oh yeah, I forgot a million's voice. It's like... It's so great to be back. I can't wait to help you find the rest of the crew. It'll be like old times, huh, Captain? You are awesome. Now, Victoria's meant to give you, like, another trinket. Maybe you have to, like, leave and come back? Uh, I might just try that because she's meant to give you one. If you don't talk to her, then you can never get it, so... Uh, v Victoria? Victoria? Hello? Captain, come have a look at what I've been working on. Oh, whoops. <laughs> All the voices. I found this in the lab! Yes, 14 out of 20. Cool. It seemed to be giving off a weird energy reading. So I analyzed it. And I was able to find more of them with the ship scanner. Now I don't know how to get to the area under the red T. If you get a chance, I'll be worth finding the rest of them. Don't put yourself in any danger though. Okay, thank you, Victoria. Yeah, I've known how to get to the area under the red tea. Nothing's leading to it. Is it from the next dungeon? I don't know. I just realized though, down the bottom next to the tea there, I missed a block. Oops. I have to go back and get that. And that will be it for today's episode. Kind of a short one, but next time we shall be taking on the yellow dungeon, and it's going to be hell. <sighs> See you guys then.